Hi everyone, so today I'm filming a haul video. These are some things that I bought over the past couple of months. Um, I did film a makeup tutorial earlier um, with this makeup look that I've got on here and a lot of the products that I'm showing you in this haul have been used um, on my face for this look because it is my kind of you know everyday but new for winter routine because these are all kind of new products so I'll link that here and also in the down bar so yeah if you like the makeup then that's over there right so I'm gonna get on with the haul now so the first thing I bought is something that's probably not that well heard of everyone's probably heard of HD brows but there is a new sort of one called highbrow um, and because I'm a beauty therapist I heard of it through work um, and I've really really liked it I've tried it on a couple of times um, it's an eyebrow powder um, on my eyebrows and I've got it on today and I just really really like it I'd use my um, Benefit Big Beautiful Eyes palette I'd use the dark brown eyeshadow for about three years on my eyebrows and it's really really nearly running out so I thought I'm gonna have to find something new and I went with a highbrow palette so it's kind of shiny it says highbrow on there and then it looks like a tiny bit of product but I mean all brow palettes are probably kind of like that so yeah it's got here's the dark brown shade and then it's got a little highlighter that's powder um, a double ended brush and then it does come with these stencils um, if you want to draw on the eyebrow but I did I tried it with it and I just thought it looked, didn't look that nice on me so I've done it just freehand and I love it it's the most pigmented powder ever and it's just so nice so yeah that was the first thing the next thing is I had bought um, a magazine a couple months ago Glamour magazine was doing um, their collaboration with Benefit and I got to try the sample um, size of Professional, and I really really liked it so I bought the big version and this is really good because when I bought this they was doing a special offer where you could pay I think £6 extra and you basically got double the size so this one's 44 millilitres and I paid £6 extra whereas normally it's £6 less for 22 millilitres so that was so so good um, I've not used it yet because I've got a tiny bit left of my sample one, but it is massive. Like, this is going to last me so long, and oh my god, I just love it. It just makes such a difference of how your makeup goes on. Like, it really is the difference between just, you know, nice makeup and just great, great makeup. But, um, because obviously it's a bit more expensive, I only really use it if we've got, you know, a really long day at work when we do a 10 till 9 shift. Um, or if you know I'm going night out, so I didn't put it on today because it was only going in for a couple of hours. Okay, so the next thing um, is a brush from Real Techniques. So in the summer, I would bought one of their kits. I think the starter kit, or I don't know, it's all the um, yellow-handed bristles. I think so. I don't know. I bought some Real Technique brushes in summer. Loved them so much. So then I went and bought the powder brush of it. And I use this to put on, obviously, powder. I use Benefit to get even. Um, and then I also use my Benefit Hula Bronzer to do, like, you know, the free shape, free E, um, and put it down my neck. It's a bit too big for blusher, um, but it is just amazing. It just puts on evenly. It's just so, so nice. Uh, okay, the next thing... Um, is a kind of like a repeat purchase it's so boring to buy but it really is just so worth the money this is literally my like fourth one of it now full fifth maybe um, and it's mac studio set cover up um, it's a concealer i've just used forever it was actually the first thing that i ever bought from mac and um, i remember buying it in the covent garden store Oh my god, I loved it, and yeah, just use it everywhere, so that is like an essential. Um, then another thing from MAC is an eyeshadow from one of their collections, I think there's a Christmas collection, don't know which one it is though, um, and it's this eyeshadow. I love that they've done shiny like um, paint and packaging, um, and it's the colour Evening Grey, and let me just show you. It is so nice, I don't have this on today though. Um, it looks like this. I love it because it looks kind of all a nice sort of pattern of how they put it in, but just a really nice colour. I probably will use it in a Christmas tutorial or New Year's tutorial because it's so nice for evening, but I do wear it in the daytime as well, so that eyeshadow. Um, okay, the next thing is a product that 
um, Everyone Loved and it's from Gemma Kid. and then when I heard the brand was being discontinued I was like oh my god I've wanted to buy this product forever and you know I read on Vivianda's makeup blog she was like if you can grab this get hold of it now while you can um, and you're probably thinking it's either like the Light As Air foundation or the um, Dewy Glow like Radiance Cream and it is the Dewy Glow Radiance Cream. So I got it in the colour number one Ice Gold and oh my god, I, the, like, I bought it because I was like well if I don't buy it now I can never buy it again because it's been discontinued. Now I'm like oh my god I better not use it up because I can never buy it because it's discontinued. Because it is just amazing, like so, so nice. I'll try and swatch that one for you but I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Um, there, I guess you can see a little bit. No, it's not showing up very good. But I did use it in um, my tutorial today and I don't know if you can see it at all, but it is so nice. And someone did comment actually like, early on my skin saying, you know, oh my God, what happened to your skin? It's so nice and glowy because um, people haven't really seen it. I didn't really want it to work much before, but they saw it and they liked it. So if you can still get hold of it, you probably can't now, but if you can buy it, it's just so, so worth it. Um, another thing is from Dermalogica, it is um, Sheer Tint Moisture, um, and it's basically just a tinted moisturiser, I was using my MAC one and I bought about three of them and it was so so good, but my skin was just really bad and um, at work they're all so into like you know Dermalogica and um, using like mineral makeup on the skin, but the mineral makeup, I know it's good for the skin and my skin would improve, but I just can't help liking, you know, all the other brands which are probably, you know, going to clog my pores up on my face and everything, but I just like them too much to not use them. So, yeah, I've changed over since about July, August time. I've been using all Dermalogica skincare um, with my Clarisonic and my face has really, really improved. Um, and so I thought, you know, if I'm not going to change all my makeup, I will change just the base. So I was using a tint moisturiser anyway. So now I'm just using, yeah, sheer tint moisture and I absolutely love it. It's just the nicest finish. So natural looking, really, really nice. Um, another thing is a skincare product and it is Estee Lauder um, and it comes in this little box because I bought one of the gift sets. So when Debenhams was having their big sale, um, I think they had like 10% off everything or 20% or something like that. Um, and I basically bought Advanced Night Repair but in the big size because I bought it back in the summer. Um, at, right at the beginning of August, so it lasted um, quite a while. Um, that was a 30 milliliter size, but yeah, I got the 50. And when you bought the 50, they threw in a tiny baby one. Um, look, this little cute miniature one, and I thought it'd be nice for traveling. It's seven milliliters, so that was nice. I thought, you know, if I'm gonna buy it, I might as well buy it and get a little one free. So that, I think, has helped my skin a lot too. Next thing, we're nearly coming to the end, I know this is a really big haul. Um, the next thing is a product that I owned years ago um, and then just um, kind of couldn't be bothered to cut up the tube like you meant to um, and in the end I just bought this one. So I have stopped using it, it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I stopped using it for a year or something. I tried MAC Paint Pots underneath my eyeshadows but nothing ever in the world will work as best as this. And obviously the new packaging is so much easier. Now you're not going to waste tons of products in the sides. So I got that. Um, and then I've got an eyeshadow. It's really, really cheap but I did use it in my um, tutorial today. It's by Makeup Academy. Um, and it's this little trio, literally it cost me about £2.50 from Superdrugs. And basically you've got a medium brown colour, dark brown and then a nice um, shimmery inner corner highlight. And that it is really, really nice for the money that it is. So, oh and sorry, it's in the colour Innocence. Okay, and then the last thing is something that I've seen Viviana does makeup recommend. And it was the Boots Build Up Removal Expert Clarifying Shampoo. And... This, I've used it twice now, and it really does what it says. Your hair just feels so clean after. It is just really, really useful. And it was really quite cheap, so about £3, I think it was. So, yeah, that was nice. But, oh my god, my hair. Yeah. Um, okay, I hope you liked the haul. I think my favourite thing out of everything... Oh my god, I don't even know if I could choose, but probably... This base, because it's just so good. The brush, because, you know, if the base is good and then this makes powder go on top well. I um, love being using this on my eyes, but at the same time, um, I really like using the Gemma Kid on my cheeks. Um, oh, the brow palette, I just cannot even choose. 
but yeah, um, this is a haul and of the majority, about 50% of these products I did use in the tutorial today. So if you do want to watch that, then I hope that you like it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.